Just pearly things proves that the black mental sphere is full of simps, not players. On my last video, I dropped about this just pearly situation. I really didn't get into the racial aspect of it, but your boy is back and I think it has to be touched on. I usually stay in my own little space on YouTube that I've carved out for myself, but when I see gang goofy shit like this, I have to speak on it. Never in my life have I seen black YouTube in such a shambles. And yes, if you didn't know, there is a sector of YouTube that is made up of black content creators. Now this pearl chick kind of got her foot in the door by collaborating with this sector of people. After a couple years, her channel blew up and she decided she wanted to move away from that kind of content. She had a racist on her show and not only did she agree with some of his talking points, she also voiced her own beliefs. One being that she thought that chattel slavery was exaggerated and not as bad as history has made it out to be. Things were said about Jews also, but I don't think that community has caught on to what was said just yet. But when they do, I'm sure this thing will blow up like the Russian nuclear disaster that occurred in 1986. Anyway, a lot of black YouTubers were pissed, as they should be. But oddly enough, a portion weren't. In fact, the sector that weren't started to defend Pearl. That sector was also made up of black men. Now I have to ask, what do these men have to gain by defending blatant fuckery? Some people claim since Pearl is a bigger YouTuber, they're trying to kiss her ass and get on her good side for favors and help them blow up in the future. While others claim some black men just have a deep fetish for white women and will play Captain save a hole for them each and every time. Either way, it's a messed up situation. Now, in my mind, it comes down to simps versus players. Which side do you fall on? Either you are true to the game or you are not. It's as simple as that. Personally, I'm ashamed of the black mental sphere and everyone in it who allowed this white girl to enter in and prosper. And let's be clear, the white mental spear never vouched for this chick. And I didn't see any of them trying to defend her either. So I have to ask my brothers, how the fuck did you let a bony ass white girl break up your crew? The only time a bunch of black men should ever be arguing over a skinny white chick is, well, you know what, let's just continue. Now, on my last video about Pearl and other female dating gurus, I called out names, so I gotta do the same for these simps. That's right, King Dose ain't afraid of smoke, I ain't dodging nothing. So let's start with TLAS, the lead attorney simp. Yes, I'm going there. The lead simp decided to use his platform and defend Pearl. He even joked about slavery being exaggerated. His defense for Pearl was that she is just young and naive. Yeah, okay, it sounds good, but your jury ain't buying it, Lee. Just admit you are simping and trying to get in where you fit in with Laura Ingalls. But fuck the Lee simp. Let's talk about YouTuber Anton Daniels. This clown has not only decided that Pearly is the hill he's willing to die on, he has also decided to be her personal attack dog. He has had detractors of Pearly on his show and grilled the hell out of them. But I shouldn't expect anything from a guy who claims racism isn't a problem and black people should stop talking about it. And what makes his simping even more crazier than the rest of these guys is this dude is married. I wonder if he's trying to go that poly route with Pearly. But let's move on to our last Summer Jam contestant, Obsidian. I didn't even know who this guy was, but I'm told he is one of the creators of the Black Manosphere. And if this is true, I see why things are falling apart over there. You can't build something on top of bad foundation and expect it to stay solid and not crumble. Now, I can appreciate anyone who tries to bring black men together. But this scripture also comes to mind when I think of Obsidian and him building the black metal sphere. Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are vicious wolves. You will know them by their fruits. Are grapes gathered from thorns or figs from thistles? Let that sink in, player. I saw a video where a black woman simply asked a question about Pearl, and this guy jumped in like a vicious wolf and attacked his sister, calling her all kind of bitches. What part of the game is that, player? Nah, that's dirty work and I can't co-sign it. Look, the bottom line is I believe that Pearl is bad for the game, just like other female gurus. And you don't go against the game. That's a war you are destined to lose, pimp. I keep telling y'all, if you stay true to the game, the game will stay true to you. Anyway, let me know in the comment section if you agree with me or not. Are these brothers simping? Are they sellouts? They can even respond if they like. But back up what you say with facts, not just emotions and feelings. And don't forget to check out Players University and the Associates of Game degree in the link below. And as usual, I'll holler at you guys in the next video. But until then, play on, player.